painting this another small six by eight um, canvas panel. Um, it's got a red brow. I transpose this thumbnail onto it, and the thumbnail came from the original photograph. You'll notice that I moved the the telephone post behind the barn, put a person in here rather than the pickup. Um, change the profile to this. I tilted the barn just a mite here. I don't know if I'm going to use it as it is there because it's it kind of reminds me of American Gothic. <laughs> the straight on shot kind of thing. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do there. <clears throat> so let's uh, commence. I'm using a number uh, four. Um, fairly large one for this painting. So I'm going to throw some dark on here first of all for these um, tall pines. They look like they could be spruce, I'm not sure. Or tamarack, kind of, sort of tamarack. Very tall elongated ones. In the thumbnail, I tried to pull all the darks together. And so I think, you know, in some ways I've done it by melding this dark right here with the dark of the person and then into this area with these pines. I also chose to put um, some pines back here and it would help to um, stabilize that and also um, keep the eye from going right off the canvas here. We now have uh, the eye comes around this way and I want it to jump over here. I'll have to use some kind of cloud formation to so maybe pull that around. I've got this arch, so possibly I use some kind of um, arch of the clouds or something to uh, to make that work. So I'll put this um, dark in here. Some dark image here, and then. There's this part of the barn back here. So, um, this is um, ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Makes sort of a black. All right, so. got some sap green with some cadmium orange here I'm just going to put that over that and um, make a little bit more interesting there um, I think what I shall do and I just came to this realization right now I think I'm going to Not sure if this is what I'm going to do yet, but I'm just going to try it out a little bit. I can always erase it. Um, this is more of a distant hill back there. Um, I'll 
use this gray mixture made up of sap green and um, cad red um, with white. One obliterates the other and um, it actually looks pretty good. Okay, here we've got um, cad uh, yellow Um, sap green, white, and a little bit of, of um, cerulean put in here. And we're just going to throw this in uh, right here. I noticed I put pulled a road down here instead of from up there down. Um, I figured it would open this up right instead of um, closing it in. So for right now, that's what I've got. Sometimes I change things as they go. You should have a pretty good idea what you're going to do before the fact, though. Okay, so I can obliterate this. I want some of this because um, I've got my little thumbnail I can go by. I don't have to. Um, and then I've got, you know, my uh, photo reference, so... We'll see what happens. This is a fairly light greenish. Grass is right in here, uh, mainly due to the fact that there are a lot of weeds weeds in this area and I kind of like that I'm going to include some of this some, some of these greens in here blue bluish greens throw a little bit <clears throat> just gonna mix up a I don't know maybe a road color of sorts here just gonna be putting it in um, this is some um, red white bit of green in there to tone it down um, I don't want to get carried away with that right now I'm gonna toss a little bit of some grays in here um, this pencil pencil some pencil markings that I put on here um, I have a workable fixative on top of it um, kind of a varnish so it doesn't um, doesn't get all over that way it's not coming off and I'm painting as you can see I'm going to change this instead of this door here Maybe it's kind of neat to have that door there. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we'll put it in. Reserve the right to uh, change my mind. Let's just put it in there. Then.
I'm gonna throw some a little bit of reds on here. More of a Olazarian. I'm gonna include the Olazarian um, crimson. Burnt umber in here. We'll put in, um, pull this window out and pull in a uh, couple of those old boards calling, kind of falling in and so on. So let's do that. some of that same um, colored over here. And um, my light source is over here, so warming this up a little bit on this side and this is a little bit warmer too Using more of a purple, a red, um, red purple back here for this lean to here. I'm going to include a little bit of this, I think I'll. Probably put a, a really brilliant red right here where this person is. Um, just to set it off, to get all this other reds, why not throw in some more? <laughs> all right. Um, I'm adding a little bit of them. Ultramarine now to this. I mean, how, just how far away is that hill? I think it should be a little bit of purple in there. Do 
some chirps. Got a little bit of <laughs> scab of paint there. I don't know. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm going to warm up this um, this painting a bunch. It's really kind of dreary, actually. So I'm going to warm this up quite a bit. Um, it's my prerogative to do so. so. So I do. Because I'm doing, doing this, I can, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put it on a hotter sun. Glue to that mixture. A little bit of cerulean blue in there. Because I want it to be. Um, can paint that pole in later. So I'm adding a little bit of white to this mixture. I'm adding a little bit of um, of the same mixture, but I'm adding a little bit of red into it. 
Not much. Allowing some of that red to, to read. in there. Let's see. As a cloud. Or at least just a light area. Come back here now and Maybe get a little bit. You have to have to watch out for the value changes here. I'm adding a little bit more slowly into this mixture. Adding more up here. Like lightening the top part because it it's towards a flatter edge, so therefore um, it's uh, more of a, a horizontal plane right up on the top of the hill, so therefore it tends to be a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm making a lot of that up, of course. So I'm going to, we're going to kind of soften that edge there. I'm going to soften that edge and make it look like it's coming directly back there. So. Transferring to us just a little bit smaller brush now. It's not, uh, those are, those windows are reflecting and they're probably old and hardly ever been used. So what they're reflecting is a very nondescript dark.
this in a little bit darker. Darker gray. I'm just coming up a little bit further on this to just show that the weeds are taken over, grasses are taken over in this farm, as most farms are. Okay, we're continuing on. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of dark, darker, dark back here. This is uh, closer to my I, I, this is my center of interest, so I am I am trying to um, pull the darkest darks and the lightest lights into that area. Sometimes it helps to do that. You don't want to try so hard to do that, though, that you're screwing up your painting. Hit this one up pretty hard right there. Bring it down. See, one doesn't have to define every leaf or anything. Um, people get into this weird idea that they have to define every leaf. Now, I'm going to have to throw some of these green or greens over here because I now have a fairly strong sunlight, and especially in the fact that I'm going to throw some darker um, I'm going to throw some darker uh, shadows along here and when you do that the darker the shadow the lighter the light uh, I mean you're the lighter the light you're saying it is. I kind of like him. Just as I, as I look into some of these, you know, get into the painting, then I see other things that can be added and improve the picture a little bit. 
So then I do that. And you gotta watch it. You can't add too much info. Um, too much info is not a good thing. is a little bit over here. Let me change that a little bit. So I'm warming up these grass just a little bit or closer to me. And also they're in um, brighter sunlight. So um, Sunlight's from this angle, coming down this way, so therefore I can, I'm going to throw this in shadow back here. And let's say, and of course, you know, this, this one, of course, will be in shadow then, too. I always like to throw in. <laughs> um, let's say from the side here, we've got some other trees and so they're casting some, they're casting some um, shadows of the, across the road as well. Like what I'm trying to do is I'll make this into a painting that I will enjoy walking through. I don't enjoy walking. I don't think I enjoy. It's almost somber. The, the original photo. From there I've lightened it up and improved the emotional aspects of it in the thumbnail. And from the thumbnail, I've... Um, I'm trying to give it more of a, a sunnier, warmer, more comfortable feeling, uh, one that I would like to, uh, I'd like to be part of. I'm going to... Uh, put this dark in there of the um, side of the building. It, it's almost, you can just see a little bit of the side of the barn, built of the barn, and that's, um, that's what I've got there. Um, regarding, um, I've got a couple, um, I'm going to put that one there. Um, it appears like there might be a door or something here. And I'm going to pull that in right now. I'm going to include that door. And um, I always like to open up the doors a little bit. 
by having um, to see through them a little bit. So I'm opening this door a little bit and we're just going to allow that door to be open. Um, and it's all, of course casting a little. Bit of um, shadow, cast shadow along there too. Um, I'm going to throw this in darker shadow, I think. The darker shadow signifies that this is much lighter. Warm up a little bit of them. Um, some of these yellows here, yellow greens. I'm sort of liking some of the stuff that's working there. So, um, I'm going to pull kind of a more of a Kentucky, Kentucky Hill look, I guess. I haven't been, I've only, only drove through Kentucky once. So it's hard to really know, <laughs> but I I have a great imagination, so, that's, so I use it. So And now where the cast shadow is f falling on the uh, on the road, it's going to blue. It's the blue that um, the shadow. It since there's a lot of red in here um, in the road, I'm going to. It's going to be a much darker, and, and because of that, I'm adding some olive and crimson to it because um, because of that here we're just kind of so we got some blues in there we'll have some all the Zarian Crimsons kind of poking through. I assume that it's the same kind of tree, so it's pointed, okay? Um, uh, as it cast shadows coming off of something, you're going to have, um, it's going to be much darker near the object that it's casting the shadow and then lighter as it comes out. And um, then you're gonna have things like little weeds and so on that's still in the light that are casting themselves or against that. So you can see that that's happening there. Um,
I'm darkening up these couple areas right here. So, you can cut in then backward and um, use other colors to, um, to define uh, greater detail, but, um, so in other words, rather than the, um, positive image you are painting against the negative image and um, that's that's being quite hopeful when you do that okay I'm adding a little bit of lighter light there coming down and then we seeing this jog stick sticking out there like that come back here Ooh. and we got that jog the jog is wrong okay now this is what I'm talking about regarding remember I said about the negative image okay now I'm taking the negative the positive is the um, is a molding. So I'm using the negative image to define the positive image, positive side of it. Okay, there. Okay, this is quite dark here, so I'm just going to include that. Um, see how some of this is. It's um, there is a um, tree-like image there. So um, I'll include a little bit higher higher saturation right in here. Okay, so now because this is dark with the dark back there, I can play with it a little bit and um, I can get, I can go a lot lighter there, but not that light. <laughs> so let's, um, let's bring that down a little bit.
I'm just going to take a little bit of light, put on an image that's not in too much, maybe. something pasta like that. We're going to have a um, I am also warming this roof up. They, you know these roofs they can get pretty darn and that when that uh, sun is shining on them can get high up pretty hot. Hoping it won't take away. I don't think it will. Um, very dark, dark here though. Excuse me, I mean, cool it off. <laughs> Maybe uh, something that's further away. Some of these there might be further away. I need to pull back. So I think uh, what I have to do now is just to um, Gonna have to get. I'm getting to have to get darker here instead of lighter, because um, the sun is from that way. So therefore, I want it lighter on that side. Um, and warmer on that side. I 
I'm going to throw in some a little bit of red in there and some kind of some delineate some clouds in some type right in here. Probably something that kind of appears to be rolling around that area. And pulling, pulling that around a little bit. So I think I have to. These are one to some of those paintings that are um, meant to portray more of an emotion. And uh, if I can get an emotion out of people, that's partly a success. Um, I'm going to add some of this. These grays in here a little bit. So, uh, just little things to do. Okay, we're, I'm just trying to, going to warm up this uh, just a little bit more um, from what it is over there. But all this are in crimson underneath there. Um,
adding a little bit of yellow into some of these mixtures. Just warm it up just a little bit. I think I see something that poses a little bit of problem here, and I think yeah, I think that's better. Um, there's something going on there regarding. I think what's wrong here, I definitely have something in here. I think that'll be there. I think I'm also going to hit a little bit of yellow into this yellow, into this light, very light area because because that's where the sun's coming from, right behind there, sort of but we're way up high. Just want to warm that area up a little bit. I think now it's um, pretty much done. It's called evening chores. And um, maybe uh, maybe this person is holding a pail or something. So I'll just put that there. I don't know what that is. It's enough to imply, uh, so it's good enough to, Im so it's implying a lot.
I'm adding a little bit more yellow to the mixture up close on the road. Um, It's the sun catching the, uh, catching a little bit. Let's see. Maybe it should go a little bit. Just gonna add a few um, darks here. All right, um, the two win top windows on the barn were uh, corrected uh, on height wise, and right at the moment it look, looks like it's uh, winking at you, but uh, those were corrected after the video was um, uh, completed. If you like it, subscribe, ring the bell, and come back again. Thank you. Bye.